Groups in Groups, in my opinion, one of the best functionalities for creating coherency in your mixes. This is one of my projects and I'm going to show how we use instrument groups to create that coherent sound that you're looking for, which will definitely bring your mix to the next level. Applying compression differently to groups as opposed to individual tracks. For individual tracks, I tend to use compression a lot more heavily, uh, higher ratios, lower thresholds, often to create that banging sound. But for group tracks, I use waist lighter values aiming for coherency. From this approach, it might become clear that compression is used completely differently on groups as opposed to individual tracks. Now obviously, not every group needs compression. That depends on the genre or the track itself, you know, personal choices, preferences, whatever it may be. Now generally, it's been said that compression kills dynamic range, and this in fact still happens. However, the psychoacoustic effect of dynamic range still remains, meaning you'll still perceive the track as dynamically ranged. You'll see when exporting your track that the audio waveform looks flattened to some of y'all better known as a sausage, optimal for making a great master. On a mission looking for something. Can't really tell.